Hi guys, I'm Sushmita from Miss Pink Shoes and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a makeup tutorial on this look right here which is inspired by Kim Kardashian's 2018 Met Gala look. So this look really really caught my attention because I loved it. She looked perfect but I was so scared to do this because I have been following Mario her makeup artist for like a really 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 long time and I absolutely love his work and he's like one of my biggest idols for makeup so I was just so nervous but I am really really happy with the way the look has turned out and yeah as mentioned in my previous video and in the title it's using all drugstore products so even you guys can try this out and look like Kim Kardashian hopefully so yes if you'd like to know how to get this look then please Keep on watching. To have a really nice even skin and to make sure that my makeup really lasts, I'm going to be using the Miss Claire Professional Makeup Primer. This is the clear variant and I'm just dotting it all over my face. And now I'm going to pat this into my skin to make sure that all of my pores are well covered. To color correct my skin and to get that flawless base, I'm going to be taking the Victoria 5 Cream Color Concealer Palette. So this has color correctors, concealer, highlighter, contour. This just works amazingly for me. So first, I'm going to be picking up the orange color corrector using this BH Cosmetics brush. And I'm going to start by placing it onto my under eyes where I really need some color correction. Also taking this to my lid. I'm taking some around my mouth as well because I have a lot of darkness there. And a little bit around my cheek because I have a lot of darkness here as well. And now picking up the green concealer, I'm going to take it on all those red spots that I have. Now taking my damp YBP makeup perfecter, I'm going to start blending this out. Now taking the Technique Color Fix 2 palette which is going to be like my setting powder for the day. What I'm going to do is pick up this color right here to set my face. And with a really light hand I'm going over all of the color corrected areas. So you want to make sure that you set your color corrected areas otherwise it really won't make a difference. It will just blend into your foundation and it won't really give you the color correction that you need. Okay, I know I look a little crazy right now, but it's time to make it look not so crazy by using a foundation. And today I'm going to be using the Nykaa Stick Foundation in the shade 04. So I'm just going to smear it all over my face and I'm going with a really nice amount because I have color corrected. So we are going to lead a lot of foundation to, you know, hide all of that. So now using the pack master strokes brush this is in the code 03 I'm going to blend out my neck and shoulder because this just makes it a lot easier to blend rather than a beauty blender. And now for my face I'm again going in with the same brush to first blend it all out. So Kim had like a super matte face and that's why I decided to use this foundation because this just stays matte already and once you set it in place it's like super matte. Now going back in with a concealer palette and picking up this color right here to apply to all of the high points of my face to, and to highlight it. So first taking it to my under eyes and to the lids and now to the bridge of my nose, forehead, cupid's bow and chin. Now using my beauty blender again, I'm going to blend all of this out. And now I'm going to take the color fix palette and using my beauty blender, I'm going to pick up this banana color right here. And I'm setting my under eyes with it because I don't want it to crease and Kim has like the most flawless under eyes ever. Like I have no idea how she has them but yeah she does. So I'm going to try my best to get flawless under eyes which I know is impossible but we are going to try. And now picking up the product with the brush, I'm going to set the other areas that I've highlighted. 
set the rest of my face, I'm going to be picking up this color right here. And right now, I'm just going to apply it around my mouth. So now it's time to contour this face and to look a little more normal but I am so nervous because Kim is like the queen of contouring and I don't know how I'm going to do this but we are going to try. So yes, from the same Victoria palette, I'm picking up this contour shade. Now it's time to blend. So I'm finding it a little hard to blend it with a beauty blender so I'm going in with a brush. And now setting in all of the contoured areas with this color. So I usually would go in with a deeper color but since I just want to set it in place, I'm going with a lighter color. Alright, moving on to blush, I'm going to be using the Essence Blush Up in the shade Heat Wave. So I noticed that in most pictures it didn't look like she had any blush on. But in one picture which was a really nice high rise picture, it looked like there was something. So I'm just going to be picking up the peach color from the duo. And also picking up a bit of that bronzer. And I'm just going to apply a mix of this onto my cheeks. And I'm also blending this into my contour. Moving on to the brows, today I'm going to be using the Freedom Eyebrow Pomade and I'm picking this up using a flat eyebrow brush and I'm just going to start filling my brows in and also defining them. Okay, so I'm changing my brush because that brush had a lot of like hair coming out and it was just distracting me so yeah. Moving on to the eyes now, for my eye makeup today I'm going to be using the Fortune Favors The Brave palette by Makeup Revolution and picking up this light brown colour right here from the palette and I'm just going to warm up my crease and I'm taking my crease really high up. Now picking up the darker colour from the palette, I'm placing it really softly and blending it out at the same time. I'm now picking up this really light shimmery color from the palette and I'm just placing this onto my entire lid so I'm not really sure if she had like a shimmery shadow or a matte shadow but I just feel like I want to add a little shimmer so I'm using a little shimmery one. Okay now for the liner and for my waterline I'm going to be taking the L'Oreal Get Intense 36 hour liner. This is basically their gel liner and I absolutely love this. And I'm picking it up using the same brush that I use for my brows. And I'm going to make a really really thin liner. I'm pretty nervous because I am so 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 bad at doing my liner with a brush but <sighs> fingers crossed I hope I don't screw this up. And now before this sets in place, I'm going to take a pencil brush which is clean and I'm just going to soften the edges with the lightest hand. Now picking up the black shadow from the palette, I'm just going to set in the liner that I applied but I'm not going too over top with this, I'm just setting it near the base. Now picking up that shadow with a pencil brush, I'm just going to start smoking out the corners because there was a lot of shadow concentrated on the corners of her eye. Now I'm taking that liner again and just extending my inner corners a little. I'm going to repeat the exact same on the other eye now. Okay, so that's done. That was pretty stressful. So now what I'm going to do is take the gel liner again and apply it to my waterline. And now with a pencil brush, I'm going to start smoking my kajal out. So 
setting that in with the black shadow For mascara today I'm going to be using the Maybelline the Falsies Volume Express mascara For falsies I'm going to be using my Argel Wispies Okay, moving on to highlighting. So she had an obvious highlight going on, and it was very similar to her skin tone. But yeah, of course, it was popping. So I'm gonna be using the Pack Baked Highlighter in the code zero four, and I'm just gonna pop this first on my cheeks. And now to the tip of my nose, and just a little right here, and whatever's left on the brush goes on my cupid's bow. Using the same highlighter, I'm gonna go over my brow bone because she had a very well highlighted brow bone. Okay, coming to the lips now, she had a really nice brown to nude ombre. So I'm gonna be using two lip colors, which are both from Nykaa. This is from their Matte range. So the darker one is called Hot Cocoa, and the lighter one is called Top Thrill. So first, I'm gonna apply the darker color on my lips and making sure that I'm leaving some gap in the middle. And now with the lighter color, I'm just filling up the centers. So I'm picking up this concealer from the Victoria Concealer Palette and just tapping some in the centers because I want it to be much lighter. And now with the brush, I'm reapplying the darker lip color to make sure that the ombre is properly visible. So guys, with this we come to an end of this look. I am so obsessed, especially the lips. So different for me, but I'm loving it. I hope you guys love it too. Do comment and let me know what you think of me in this look. And I will see you soon in my next video. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Bye.